Richard Marcinko, the hard-charging founding commander of Navy SEAL Team 6, the storied and feared unit within an elite commando force that later carried out the raid that killed Osama bin Laden, died Saturday at his home in Fauquier County, Virginia. He was 81. The cause was believed to be a heart attack, a son, Matthew Marcinko, said. Commander Marcinko climbed the ranks to command Team 6 and wrote a tell-all bestseller that cemented the SEALs in pop culture as heroes and bad boys. Though the highly decorated Vietnam veteran led Team 6 for only three years, from 1980 to 1983, he had an outsized influence on the group's place in military lore. After a failed 1980 mission to rescue 53 American hostages seized in the takeover of the United States Embassy in Tehran, the Navy asked Commander Marcinko to build a SEAL unit that could respond quickly to terrorist crises. The name itself was an attempt at Cold War disinformation, only two SEAL teams existed at the time, but Commander Marcinko called the new unit SEAL Team 6 hoping that Soviet analysts would overestimate the size of the force. He flouted rules and fostered a maverick image for the unit. Years after leaving the command, he was convicted of military contract fraud. In his autobiography, Rogue Warrior, Commander Marcinko describes drinking together as important to SEAL Team 6's solidarity, his recruiting interviews often amounted to boozy chats and bars. For years, SEAL Team 6 embraced its rogue persona and was assigned some of the military's toughest operations. Only Team 6 strains to chase after nuclear weapons that fall into enemy hands. And the team's role in the 2011 raid that killed Bin Laden, the Qaeda leader who 10 years earlier had overseen the terrorist attacks on September 11, spawned a wave of books and movies, elevating the unit to even higher heights of fame. Young officers were sometimes run out of Team 6 for trying to clean up what they saw as a culture of recklessness. Admiral William H. McRaven, who rose to lead the Special Operations Command and oversaw the Bin Laden raid, left Team 6 during the Marcinko era after disagreements about leadership. After retiring from the Navy in 1989, Commander Marcinko embarked on a career as a best-selling author, motivational speaker and military consultant, relying heavily on his authenticity as a military veteran. He also appeared on the cover of several of his books, presenting an imposing image of muscular forearms, bearded jaw and piercing eyes staring out at readers, 